This is a special edition of Out of This World. I have in studio our space expert and science writer, Scott Sutherland. Thanks for being here. Yeah, this is great. And we're going to look back at some of the biggest stories of 2023 when it comes to our galaxy and beyond. Let's begin with NASA's Psyche. Right. Okay, this one is en route to a very unique asteroid. Right. So the Psyche mission is going to Psyche the asteroid, which is in the asteroid belt. NASA uh, has a creativity problem. They do. Uh, <laughs> 220 kilometer wide asteroid that um, it could be, due to its high metal content, uh, the exposed core and mantle of some ancient protoplanet that, that developed billions of years ago and then was smashed apart. Mm -hmm. uh, or it could be uh, a normal-ish uh, rocky asteroid but has a metal core that erupted onto the surface uh, in these iron volcanoes and then cooled there. And once the Psyche mission arrives, it will be able to explore it and show us not only exactly what it is, but um, the, what we determine from it may actually tell us more about our own planet uh, and our own planet's core uh, because we only know what we know about that due to indirect seismic data. We never sampled it, we never touched the, the, the materials of the core, and the Psyche asteroid, Psyche mission being there, will be able to uh, give us that information. So we have to travel very far to find out what's happening here at home, yeah, potentially. Yeah. That's fascinating. Uh, yeah. Now there's Lucy, the probe yeah. Lucy. So Lucy yeah. also looking at asteroids, mm -hmm. uh, but inadvertently, and I love when this happens, inadvertently discovered something really cool. Yeah, on November 1st of this year, it, uh, the Lucy spacecraft passed by an asteroid called Ding Kanesh. Uh, and they thought they noticed something unusual going on with it when they were approaching, and it con was confirmed they found a tiny moon orbiting around this asteroid. And the, but the real surprise came days later when they got the other uh, images down from the spacecraft and saw that it wasn't just one moon, it was two. Wow. Was this, this, these two small, almost equally sized moons so close together they're touching, a, a binary uh, pair of asteroids moons. And this is the very first time they've ever seen anything like this. Incredible. Yeah. The James Webb Telescope right. sees all kinds of things we've never seen before, and most recently discovered something about Europa, which is Jupiter's moon. Yeah, um, the, uh, we've always had uh, Europa is this tiny icy moon that's orbiting Jupiter, and it's it's been in science fiction that it may host life and all these other things. But what James Webb discovered was that there's carbon dioxide ice on the surface, and now we've always known that there's a subsurface ocean. On, uh, underneath the ice of Europa, and it's more voluminous by two or three times what we have in our Earth's oceans. Um, but they've never, and they know it's salty, but they've never known whether anything could live there. Does it have the right materials in that, in that environment to support the development li of life and maybe uh, you know, the evolution of life as well? Um, and this carbon was found to be coming from plumes coming out of this ocean. And so this raises the probability that we may find life on this tiny icy moon. Incredible. Yeah. And quickly, Artemis II is going around the moon. Right. They're really interested in the South Pole. Right. So is India. They've already traveled there in 2023. Yep. Uh, why? What's the big deal? Water. There's ice trapped at the bottom of these perpetually shadowed craters, and that could be a resource for the future. Okay. Can't wait to see more on these stories in 2024. Thank you so yeah. much, Scott. It's very pretty out here.